stations. The Octonauts and the Walrus Pops. I'm so glad you could visit us here on the Octopod, Orson and Ursa. Uncle Barnacles, can we show Peso our new Polar Scout badges? Of course, Cubs. Peso, my niece and nephew have been working hard. Take a look. That's our Starfinder badge. We learned how to find our way using the North Star. And we got this badge for learning how to make a shelter out of snow. But you're really going to like the next one, Peso. The Seaweed Bandage Badge. <laughs> we learned how to make an emergency bandage out of seaweed. And we got to practice on a real live narwhal. Great work, Cubs. There are lots more badges that we don't have yet. And we're going to earn every single one, just like you, Uncle Barnacles. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't have every single Polar Scout badge. You don't? Really? Are you sure? There is one that slipped through my paws over and over again. I remember the first time I saw a walrus in trouble. Oh, my flipper hurts. I offered to help. Don't worry, I'll move. Move along, little polar bear. We walruses can handle this. Whoa! But I didn't give up. My tusky stock! I'd be happy to. Ooh, get back! Walrus emergency! And that's how it went every time. Just trying to. Whoa, whoa. And so I never managed to earn my Walrus Rescue Badge. But now it's time for you cubs to earn your next badge. This one is for swimming through an obstacle course of ice flows. Let's go! Good luck, cubs! Here's your challenge. Swim through this maze of ice flows in under five minutes. I bet I can do it in four minutes. Bet I can do it in three. <laughs> Here we go. On your marks, get set. Huh? I think somebody's calling for help. It sounds like it's coming from the other side of these ice flows. Come on, Cubs, follow me. This could be a real Polar Scout emergency. And these balls are ready for action. Do not be afraid. We are Polar Scouts. And we are here to answer your call for help. We don't want help. We want our mums. Well, perhaps we can help you find your mums. Help us find them. No, no, we want them to find us. That's why we're making all this noise. What are you, anyway? We're walruses, of course. You're too small to be real walruses. Walruses are big. With big, pointy tusks. These are walrus pups. Oh, so they're babies. But we're still 100% walrus. Understood. Where did your mums go? They went to find food. But they've been gone for a really very long time and now we're hungry. Very hungry. Really very hungry. Hmm. Let's see if we can spot your mums out there. Why don't you just go looking for them? We're too hungry to swim very far. And anyways, our mum said to wait right here and not move. So we're not moving. <laughs> An iceberg. And 
it's moving fast. Her mum said not to move from this ice flow. Well, they didn't say what to do if the ice flow moved. I know what to do. Cubs, would you tell me up to a lot? Octonauts to the HQ. and I are on a runaway iceberg with three walrus pups. The pups are too weak from hunger to swim very far. And we've got, got to sound the octo alert. We need to get these walrus pups to safety. Captain, we've located your iceberg. We'll be there as soon as... Uh-oh. Shiver me whiskers! You're on a crash course with two other icebergs. Oh, no. When the icebergs crash into each other, you can all get hurt. Quasi, Peso, take the Gup S and catch up to us as fast as you can. And please bring something for the Warrus pups to eat. They're really very hungry. Tunip, you and the Vegemals can help me prepare some bottles of Warrus pup formula. <laughs> We're on our way, Captain. To the Gup S, mateys. <laughs> up to that iceberg and fast. Ready to mix up some Warrus Pup formula. Rubble, rubble. Yeah, Iceberg's getting really close. Too close. Move to this side, everyone. Now no, it's really very close. Hold on, everyone. This could get bumpy. They may have returned to the ice flows by now, so let's start there.
Excuse me. <laughs> I think I can help. I don't think so. No, nor me neither. Oh! Easy now. Ladies, I don't like the looks of this one. Oh, here we go again. Mum! Mum! Oh, there you are! Little Otto! Oh, what a relief! Oh, thank goodness! Oh, are you all right, love? We waited a really very long time, but we were carried off by a really very big iceberg. And then Captain Barnacles and his friends saved us! Huh? He does have that hero look about him, doesn't he? Ladies, how can we ever thank him for saving our pups? Hug! Wow! <laughs> there it is! The Walrus Rescue Badge! Well, well done, done, Uncle, Uncle Barnacles! Barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> Quasi! Hey, sir! Charlton! Do you see? Wait! Turn up! <clears throat> Quasi! Activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Back! Walrus pups live on ice! Check! Check! To walrus pups the cold feels nice! Check! Check! Walrus milk is what you feed a pup! They don't eat other food till they sure grow up. Sure they don't have their tusks quite yet. Check, check, check. It takes a little time to grow themselves a set. Let's break! Go, Walrus! Go, Walrus! Go, Walrus! Creature report! Creature report! Creature report! We're done with our mission. Octonauts at ease! Until the next adventure! The Octonauts and the Mantis Shrimp. Look at this, mateys! It's the latest edition of True Tales for Pirates. Ooh, Claws of Danger. Aye, matey, it's the snappy tale of two Mantis Shrimp. Each one has powerful claws. Meat Smash Claw, known for strength. And Spear Claw, known for speed. They were locked in a never-ending battle of claws until finally they both broke a humongous rock. Leaving a family of worms without a home. Not wishing to harm others, they drew a line in the sand and each promised to stay on his own side forever. Who knows what could happen if they ever cross claws again? Whoa, but there aren't really shrimp with smashing spearing claws, are there? Actually, there are. Mantis shrimp are quite real and they have very powerful claws. Some smash, some spear, and they make their homes in coral reefs. Ah, what a coincidence. We're on our way to a coral reef right now. Maybe we'll get to see the Claws of Danger in action. Claws of Danger? Who dares to cross the line in the sand? Prepare to face my Smash Claw! You'll walk me from my nap. Now, you must deal with my Spear Claw! Hmm. Since this thing is on my side of the line, it must be mine! Hmm. Whatever this is, it shall be mine! Keep your eyes peeled for mantis shrimp. <gasps> Hermit crabs. Captain, they don't look well. We're too big for ourselves. When we get bigger, we have to find new ones. But we can't find any new shells on this reef that are big enough to fit us. 
Captain, Shellington has a huge collection of shells in the lab. And I'm sure some of those shells are just the right size for you hermit crabs. Really? Bigger shells? Ooh. You're not just pulling my claw, are you? Everyone aboard the Octopod for new shells. Oh, can't wait to get out of this open shell. <laughs> I'm sure I heard something strange. Wait. Me ears must be playing tricks on me. Now let's see. I've got lots of different shells. <gasps> you? What are you doing here? We all heard that, right, mateys? What am I doing here? You're in my new home. Your new home? It was on my side of the line. I captured it with my spear ball. Well then. Maybe we need to settle this the mantis shrimp way. My smash claw against my spear claw. <laughs> Laws of danger. Now leave my new home at once, or prepare to face my super strong hammer smash. Ha! Hammer smash! Now you must suffer my super fast lightning spear. <laughs> 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 Jumping jellyfish, it's a mantis shrimp showdown! Ultimate Super Spear! Ultimate Super Smash! Octonauts, we have to stop this. Please, mantis shrimp, you'll hurt each other! Out of my way! We got no problem with you! This fight for our new home is between us and our claws! Easy now! Why don't we take you back to the reef and... Never! Uh, maybe you two need a moment to calm down. There. A little time apart should do the trick. Uh, Cap, we got a vegetable stuck in the kitchen vent. Oh. Again. On my way. What about us? We need help getting out of these old shells. Don't worry. I've got a shell removal kit in the sick bay. Shellington, will you help me carry it? We'll be right back. Hear that? The big guy wants us to calm down. I heard. And I am already calming down at a very fast speed. That's funny, because everyone knows I'm the strongest in the sea at calming down. But you do not have my super fast calming move. <laughs> ah, so calm. <laughs> I'm the calmest, because I could break out of this tank any moment, but I choose not to. Oh, please, I'm so calm. I could shatter this tank with one spear! No! My double whammy hammer smash is stronger! Uh-oh. <laughs> Hardly! My triple whammy spear is faster! <laughs> Why, I order? <laughs> Maybe they don't know what the word calm means. <laughs> this shell removal kit is just what we need. <gasps> oh my! What? What? They went that away. We've got to find them before they hurt each other. And before they smash up the whole octopod. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get you this time, Gashy. <laughs> Flying quad attack! <laughs> Stop! Claw chop! Yeah. <laughs> are not going to... Oh! Oh! That away! Mantis shrimp? <laughs> Goodness oh! me! Oh! Oh! My books! One, two, three. Ah! 
Shiver me whiskers. They're heading for the HQ. I, Master of Smashclaw, claim this place as my home. No, I, Master of Spearclaw, say it is mine. Uh, yeah! Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Octonauts. Hey, who sounded the octo alert? of sea animals live there. If we smash into it, they'll lose everything. Uh, uh, we're not going to let that happen. Uh, Dashi, activate manual steering now. Thanks for lending me a fast paw, Quasi. Hi, Captain. Sometimes it takes a little cat-like quickness. Combined with some polar bear strength. To, to get, get the job done. done. We are so sorry. Our battle went a claw too far. We almost wrecked our beloved reef. And your ship. It's time to extend the Claw of Peace. I bow to your spear claw. Oh, no, no. I bow to your Smash Claw. Please, your Spear Claw is superior. You cannot be serious. Your Smash Claw wins the day. Wait a minute. I'm saying... Uh, no, no, no. Hold on, mateys. Each of you Mantis Shrimp has amazing claw power. And I have the perfect job for both of you. Sometimes it takes a little Spear Claw quickness combined with some Smash Claw strength. Hey! Yeah! To, to get, get the, the job, job done. done. Oh, I'm free of that tiny shell at last. Hey! Calling all up to know. Quasi! Hey, sir! Chanter! Dishy! Inkling! Wait! Turn up! <clears throat> Quasi! Activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Mantis shrimp live in the coral reef. Check, check, check. They dig into the sand beneath. Check, check. Mantis shrimp have different claws that clash. One can spear and one can smash. The smashing claw is strong, the spear is fast. Check, check. They are so strong, they can even break glass. Just break. Yo Shrimpy, Yo Shrimpy, Yo Shrimpy! Feature report! Feature report! Feature report! We're done with our mission! Octonauts at ease! Until the next adventure! Octonauts and the Poison Dart Frogs! Reginald told me that this new gup that Tweak's building is called the Gup H. That's right, Quasi. Aha! And, and, and what exactly does the Gup H do? Ah, it's a surprise. You'll find out soon. Ah, I, but I, I reckon I can guess it first. Uh, maybe the H is a clue. The Gup H is made for hopping. No, that's not it. How's it going, Tweak? Round on schedule, Cap. We're almost ready to show everybody what this gup can do. Very good. We'll be in the octopod if you need us. Huh. Just one more guess. Uh, uh, the gup H is for hiccuping. No, uh, hammering, uh, honking, uh, helping. All of our gups are for helping, Quasi. Ah. 
Uh -oh. Captain, I'm picking up a reading on the wave tracker. Looks like a tidal bore is heading from the ocean into the Amazon River. A tidal bore is a huge wave that moves up the river. The extra water in the river makes it rise really high. Creatures can get hurt or even thrown out of the water onto the shore. Then let's head to the river to help. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the Gup A. <laughs> Dashi, we've reached the river. Where's the tidal bore now? According to the wave tracker, the tidal bore hit the river about an hour ago. But you've just missed it. Thanks, Dashi. We're heading in. Optonauts, keep your eyes peeled for creatures who need our help. Aye, aye, Captain. It's awfully quiet. Hmm, that's strange. No creatures down here. We'd better check the surface. Where is everybody? Did you hear that? It's coming from the shore. Hi, mateys. There's a group of tiny frogs in the trees, and one of them is... Waving to us. Let's investigate. Ahoy there, little matey. Oh, don't touch, don't touch. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. No, but he could hurt you. Oh, come on. This little guy hurt me. That's right, that's right. I'm a poison dart frog. I don't bite or sting, but my skin is covered in poison. So if you touch me, you're in trouble, big trouble. That's why poison dart frogs have such brightly colored skin. It's like a do not touch sign. But I'm pleased to meet you just the same. Name's Robert, Robert. Pleased to meet you too. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi, Shellington, and Peso. We're looking for anyone who needs help after the tidal bore. We've got a big, big problem. Fish in the trees. Fish in the trees. Jumping jellyfish, the tidal bore must have thrown all the fish high up into the trees. Oh no, that's not good for the fish. They need water to breathe. They do have some water. But not enough to last long. There now, back in the river where you belong. But there are lots more stuck up high, really high in the trees. And that means trouble, big trouble for us poison dart frogs. Isn't that us there? Our eggs are about to hatch, and when they do... <gasps> you need the puddles of water up in the trees for the tadpoles. But why do they need puddles of water in the trees? When they hatch, they're not frogs yet. They're called tadpoles. They look like fish and swim in water. Right, exactly right. Each poodle makes a perfect little home for our tadpoles, so they can swim around and stay safe. But now, all the puddles up in the trees are full of fish. We need to get the fish out of the trees and make room for the tadpoles. And fast. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the tidal bore has swept fish high into the trees. Our mission is to get them out of the trees and back into the water. I'm ready to climb the highest tree, Captain. Trees in the Amazon are very tall, Quasi. It could take a long time to climb from the bottom to the top. Hmm, we need a faster way. Tweak, what do you think? The girl beach is ready, Cap. Then meet us here at the rescue site as fast as you can. <laughs> Time to launch the Gup H, Tunip. Yeah. 
Let's rescue the fish that are stuck in the lower branches of the trees. Robert, Robert, will you and the other poison dart frogs help us find all the stranded fish? We'll do, we'll do. When we find the fish, we'll point and signal with a... That's how we croak. Herbert, Herbert, will you keep watching the eggs and signal us when they start to hatch? We'll do, we'll do. Thanks. Poison dart frogs, let's hop to it. All right, Octonauts, let's hop to it, too. Oh, 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 steady. Oh, oh. Found the fish, found the fish. Oh, a piranha. All right, into the bucket and no biting. Here's another, here's another. I'll take you back to the river, little fishy. Up here, up here. This way, this way. I see one, I see one. Coming, coming. Me too, me too. Tadpoles! 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 The tadpoles are hatching! The tadpoles are hatching! Congratulations! I'm excited! So excited! Time to start putting the tadpoles in puddles! Is it just me? Or is it starting to get windy? That's not wind! Yeah! It's a giant flying bug! It's the girl bait! Whoa! I'll base the design on the dragonfly. And, and the H is for helicopter! You're just in time, Tweak! Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> Robert, Robert, are all the little ones safe and accounted for? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Every tadpole has its own paddle, except for one. Mine! <laughs> Isn't she cute? I named her Roberta, Roberta. Time to find one last paddle. Tweak, Tulip, do you read me? Loud and clear, Cap. Robert Robert is up in the treetops and he needs help. I see him, Captain, and the little tadpole on his back. Tweak, take us over to that tree. Quasi, remember, he's a poison dart frog, so don't touch. Uh, 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 uh. Don't worry, little matey, I've got you. Special delivery. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good work, Octonauts. Time to head home. Hey, Quasi, guess what else the ancient girl beach stands for? What? Hold on! Quasi! Hey, sir! Charter! Fishy! Inkling! Wait! Turn up! <clears throat> Quasi! Activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Bat! Poison dart frogs are small. Check, check, check! They cannot bite or sting at all. Check, check! Their brightly colored skin is poisonous. So touching them is very dangerous. They 
They put the baby tadpoles in trees. Check, check, check. The puddles in the trees are exactly what they need. Let's break! The Octonauts and the Hidden Lake. Antarctica straight ahead, Captain. Everyone, prepare for ice landing in three, two, one. Everyone ready to get started? I am, Captain. I can't wait to see what creatures live up here on the ice. Quasi, you and Peso will help Shellington watch the ice for creatures. <sighs> You'd have to have coconuts for brains to live here in Antarctica. Can anyone see any creatures out there? Not yet. It's all just white, white, white... And red! Shiver me whiskers! There's something red straight ahead! <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! It looks like a waterfall made out of ice. But why is the ice red? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Fire up the ice spy. The ice spy will show us what's under the ice. A vast! There's a lake down there. That must be where the red ice is coming from. The ice is very thick. Oh, the lake must have been sealed under it for millions of years. Who knows what creatures might live down there? Let's take a look. Peso, detach Octo Sled and activate ice drill. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we go. Captain, the ice is too thick. The drill can't take it. We're not giving up yet. Send more heat to the drill. OK, Captain. Almost there. Captain, the drill is broken. Aye, but we reached the lake. The drill will have to wait. Shellington, are you ready to head outside and... Oh, oh. <laughs> That's the spirit, matey. Hurry, I can't wait to see what's down there. Oh. Take it slowly, Shellington. One careless move out here and we could be in trouble. Yeah! Oh, secret lake, here I come! Amazing. No one has ever seen this place before. Have you any idea why the water's red, Shellington? The water contains tiny bits of rusty iron. That's why it's so red. There's rust in the water. Careful! It would be easy to get lost down here. Octonauts, stay close. Ah, the water is also very salty. And cold! And dark! Ah, I don't think any creatures could survive down here. Sorry, Shellington. We'd better get back to the Gup S. Uh, I might as well take a water sample first. Ooh. Cheer up, Shellington. We did find this amazing red waterfall. And we learned what makes it red. And we're all ship-shape and toasty warm again. Uh, I suppose so. But I would have loved to have found a creature down there, even just one. It's been a long day. We'll rest here before we head home. Ah, oh, but it's still light outside. Remember, in Antarctica, it doesn't get dark at this time of year, not even at night. <sighs> How am I supposed to sleep if it's not dark? Aha! <laughs> Be hearing things. Maybe I need some sleep. Hello, over here. Huh? 
jumping jellyfish. No, not jellyfish. Microbe. Name's Mervyn. I'm a teeny tiny microbe. I'm so small, you can't see me with just your eyes. <laughs> nice to meet you. But where did you come from? From the Red Lake, under the ice, of course. That's my home. Uh, I didn't think anything could live down there. It's so cold and dark. Oh, but it's just right for me. I don't mind that it's cold and dark at all. <laughs> what about you? Is this where you live? Uh, no, this is the Gup S. My name is Shellington. I'm an octonaut. An octo-what? <laughs> oh, I want to hear all about it, but oh dear. Mervyn, what's wrong? It's just a little bit warm and bright up here. I think you'd better take me back down to the lake. Already? But I haven't introduced you to the others. Oh, hurry, Shellington. <laughs> I'm boiling hot in here. Oh, uh, don't worry, Mervyn. I'll get you home. This ice hole feels smaller than last time. Keep going. I'm feeling cooler already. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's more like it. Oh, thank you, Shellington. Come on, there's so much I want to show you. Well, uh, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a quick look around. Right, <laughs> follow me. Oh, you have to meet the others. Others? A little further. A little further. Jumping jellyfish. Shellington, meet the other microbes. There's so many of you. But how do you find enough food down here? Oh, we don't need food. We get all the energy we need from the rust in the water. Yeah, we eat rust, man. <laughs> Oh, that's Jeb. This is Shirley. Oh, and say hi to Alice. Hi, Alice. Yeah. Oh, hello. Pleased to meet you. I can't wait to tell the others about you. <laughs> uh, oh, if I can find my way back out of here. Was the ice hole this way? Or was it that way? Oh, that's not good. Uh, Mayday. Mayday. Shellington to Gapes. Come in, please. Help. Huh? What was Come that? In, please. Uh, where am I? Captain Barnacles, do you read me? Shellington, where are you? Captain, I'm in the lake. Tiny creatures. Captain, help. Yeah. <coughs> Quasi and Peso to the ice hole. Octonauts, Shellington is stranded down in the ice lake. We have to rescue him. The temperature is dropping fast. If the hole freezes over, there'll be no way to get him out. Then there's no time to lose. Quasi, you're with me. Peso, you stay here and keep your eye on the ice hole. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> oh, this is taking forever, Captain. I think I know a faster way down. Agreed. On three. One... Two, three, yeah! yeah! No sign of him, Captain. Shellington! Shellington! Captain Barnacles! Did you hear that? Nah, it's just the cold playing tricks with your mind. There it is again. What was it Shellington said? Something about tiny creatures. Follow those voices. Shellington? Oh, dear. Shellington! <gasps> Shellington! Captain! Quasi! How did you find me? We showed them the way. That's Mervyn. He lives down here with all his microbe friends. The cold, dark water doesn't bother them at all. Hello. Hey. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Captain, come in. The ice hole is closing fast. Hurry! Quasi, Shellington, we'd better get out of here. Already? This is the most excitement we've had down here in, like, a million years. Maybe two. Thanks for your help, Mervyn. Don't worry. We'll come back and visit sometime. Bye. 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 Thank you. Now, let's eat some more rust, man. Quick.
quick before the hole freezes over completely. <laughs> Peso, ah! <laughs> lower the rescue line. Ooh. Right, Peso, pull us up. Hold on tight. Driving, Peso. Thank you, Captain. I still can't believe you found actual living creatures down there, Shellington. How many microbes do you think were down there? Oh, well, let's see. Carry the two, multiply by five, about 10,003,062. Oh, no, wait, I forgot about that big one. The squiggly tail. Calling all octonauts. Quasi. Peso. Shellington. Dishy. Wait. <clears throat> Quasi, activate Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. Back. Microbes are extremely small. Check, check, check. They're very hard to see at all. Check, check. Some live under massive sheets of ice. Creature report. Creature report. And they think it's very nice. Creature report. Creature report. It's cold and dark, but they don't care. Check, check. Microbes are the only things that live down there. Let's break! Go microbes! Go microbes! Go microbes! Creature report! Creature report! Creature report! We're done with our mission! Octonauts at ease! Until the next adventure!